Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you find the video useful in your designing process. Uh, and if you're a return viewer, uh, thank you so much for uh, coming back. I really appreciate all the support and uh, thank you for uh, supporting me. Uh, today we're going to talk about a little bit about uh, uh, Rail Revolve. Uh, it'll be found in, uh, let's see, uh, surface uh, under the revolve, a uh, rail revolve here. We're going to talk about a little bit about that and uh, some of the things that you can do with it. So there will be some twists involved. Uh, first, uh, I went ahead and turned off everything. So nothing is turned on, ortho, uh, planar, oh snaps, record history. So I'm just going to start from scratch. Uh, and uh, we'll just do something simple to start with. Uh, so I'll just grab a circle and I'll, I'll put it uh, change to yellow of course and go to F4 and put a circle out there. Alright and then I'll grab me a line curve and I'll go from F4 as well and I'll go to my front view and just kind of drag it up a little bit and hold down shift and then click it there and then I'll just grab me a little uh, arc direction I'm going to do several so uh, kind of uh, I'm going to go slow so uh, now I'll turn on my O snaps and turn on my quad and my N snap okay so I'll go to that quad there and I'll go up to the top there and I'll go to my front view and just kind of give it a look see uh, now this it's real easy uh, the revolve uh, just go to your uh, surface menu go to your revolve rail revolve uh, select that profile there this one here go to the bottom of where you want it and then the top and then boom uh, that's pretty much it uh, but there we're going to do some crazy stuff uh, here let's turn that to green so right now we got like a half a ball right so you could you could flip that or you could just type in CAP and cap it and you have a, a nice little ball you can do some manipulation on okay so that's that's one thing alright so let's go back and let's do some more um, I'm gonna grab a, a, a square here now and I'll start again uh, with the yellow uh, at F4 and I'll just uh, make some kind of uh, shape here and then I'll uh, go to my transform and I want everything centered so uh, I'll hit my uh, center object and then center and then I'm going to take that I'm going to duplicate it uh, and in place and then I'm just going to rotate it from center uh, holding down shift and take it uh, 45 degrees uh, so I'll type in 45 and hit enter so we have this uh, so now what I'll do is I'll just select all this I'll go to my curves I'll go all the way down to the end go to my edit tools uh, curve boolean and I'll select this inside and these corners here because I want to keep all this instead of doing trimming I'll just do this and then hit enter and then I'll change that to red and hide it okay so now I'm just going to take all that delete it bring back my red and I have this okay uh, it's a little off it looks like there uh, so let's take it uh, rotate it from F4 to that point there and then I'll just hold down shift and we'll get it centered up so everything's centered and now this side's a little off so it's it's this is a little off to begin with so my bad uh, but we'll just continue on uh, we've got this shape here so uh, let's go to uh, uh, clean up a little bit clean up let's go ahead and take this here and I have it set to a point two we'll hit enter and now let's grab that line uh, from F4 and going up and uh, now we'll go to uh, uh, arc direction again uh, for this one and we'll go from this let's turn on our mid go from this midpoint to the top there and we'll kinda like 
give it some uh, curvature and we'll go to surface we'll go to rail revolve and we'll select this this from the bottom to the top and we have something like that now that we can manipulate right so there's all kind of things that you can do with this so we'll get rid of all this here uh, let's see now we'll go to a little something more complicated and this time we're going to turn on uh, record history uh, well first we'll turn off record history and we'll do it and then we'll uh, put it back on so uh, you can see the differences so let's get a arc direction here and I'm just going to go out with my grid snaps on uh, go out here over two and we'll make it concave uh, and then I'm going to select this, go to my transform menu, and array, polar array, uh, and uh, F4 will be my center of polar array. And my number, let's see what 20 does. Uh, and enter, okay, there we go. So that's okay. And enter, yeah. And we've got all these out here, right? So let's go back to our uh, curve, go down to the very end, object, we'll select our boolean here, and we'll select all these objects here, hit enter, we'll take these, and then we'll just uh, turn off our grid steps, and we'll go around and select all these in here, okay? This, sometimes it's yeah, everything's on the outside, 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 outside. And there we go. So we'll take that and right away I'll turn it to red and turn it off and then select all this and delete it. Bring back my red so we have this. And of course those edges are real sharp so let's kind of smooth them off a little bit. Uh, clean up. I'll just go to two and hit enter so now we have this here now let's get a line curve and we'll go to F4 and we'll bring it up not so well again this is just for demonstration we're gonna I'm gonna show you something pretty cool here in a minute <laughs> sorry uh, and then uh, uh, we'll go to our arc direction uh, one more time you don't have to use arc direction of course we'll go to our mids uh, and we'll give it arc direction and we'll go to our surface and uh, revolve, rail revolve, this, this, here, to here. Okay, do it again. Unable to revolve, control points. Let's try it again. Uh, rail revolve, here, 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 to here. There we go. And you have something like this you can manipulate. All right. So now we'll get into some cool stuff. So let's just go ahead and delete that. Uh, and we'll just get rid of that there. And we'll just do a little something different here. Let's see. Maybe we want to shorten that a little bit. So let's delete that one and I'll get another one. A little bit shorter. Uh, we'll start with the line curve, F4. And we'll just go up 2 millimeters. All right and this time we'll do the polygon okay and we'll go from that quad over here and we'll just kind of draw something out we'll go, we'll just well it doesn't matter right now we'll go here we'll kind of go up we'll go over we'll go up go over and we'll cap it off there all right and again let's just go ahead and smooth those off clean up clean up clean up this curve enter enter so we have something like that this time okay and again my history still off uh, so let's go to uh, surface uh, that history will be important important here in a little bit uh, and then this this and we'll go here and oh that one didn't work out so good so let's back out of that real quick. I clicked the wrong spot. So uh, here, here, 
here and here there we go so now we have something like this right which is uh, pretty cool uh, nice little design right so let's go ahead and get rid of that and this time let's turn on history all right and let's see uh, let's check our points here so there's a lot of points and let's check to see what kind of curve that is real quick uh, so we'll type in what and it's a poly uh, poly curve so that means if I explode it it'll go into all those different segments let's just go ahead and keep that for right now and we'll, we'll come back to another thing later uh, and so I have this here right uh, so let's go ahead and do the revolve, rail revolve, and we'll select that curve, this surface, we'll start at our bottom, we'll go to our top, and there's our surface, right? Now we have record history on, right? So now we can go in here, let's go ahead and change that to a little bit friendlier color, and now we can go in here and we can delete points, we can, uh, turn on my gumball uh, edit points and it'll update automatically uh, so if I didn't want to delete that one say and I wanted to pull this one up it gives us a little bit of a different surface right so uh, you can manipulate do a little surface modeling per se uh, with with your object which is really cool you know you can you can make all kind of different uh, objects pretty cool huh uh and uh manipulate it however you you want let's go ahead and turn that to uh so there's really uh it's it's really uh unlimited what you can do uh it's just uh, moving their points around and figuring out uh, what kind of surface you want to go with but you can uh, sit here and play play around with this all day long uh, and make some really cool interesting designs okay which is you know really awesome okay but right now we you know again we have uh, you can see that they're kind of sharp edged, right? So uh, using a polygon curve will, will, will keep your uh, sharp edges basically. Uh, so that's one, one of the things what I wanted to point out. So we'll just go ahead and take that and we'll just get rid of those points and just get rid of our surface. And this time uh, we'll take this curve and rebuild it into a uh, NURBS curve. So I'll put it down to a 3. I'll leave it at 25 points and hit it here and then now when we type this in and uh, put what uh, it'll come up as a NURBS curve. So it's 1. I cannot explode it, right? Uh, so let's turn those points back on and let's go ahead and uh, do that uh, surface uh, so we'll do a, a rail, rail revolve. We'll select uh, this curve, this surface from here to here, and so we have this now, right? Now let's turn that to a friendlier color. Now when I uh, manipulate these points, everything stays rounded off because it's a NURBS curve it's not a poly curve so you won't have straight lines so uh, that's that I guess that's what I, I wanted to point out uh, but with the poly curves you'll, you'll get those sharp edges with NURBS curves you'll get a little bit more relaxed uh, a curve yeah it doesn't look good Let's take this one and pull it back. There we go. Yeah, uh, you know, and so you can you can play around with this all day long. I'm not going to take up your time, but uh, uh, that's the difference. Uh, and then when you're done, you have the design that you want. Uh, you can just go to uh, select your surface. We'll hit uh, hit your surface, and then just type in cap. 
and you have a solid item that you can use. Uh, I just think that's really cool. There's a lot you can do with that. Uh, so uh, that's uh, that's this video. Very quick, right? Uh, but it's really cool. There's a lot you can do. Your your imagination is the only thing really that uh, keeps you from using this one. Uh, there there's all kind of things you can do. Uh, let's let's do one more just for uh, to show. Uh, let's see. Let's w this one here. Let's do a polygon, and let's do it from the center. So from F4, and I'll go to my top view, and we'll just uh, hold down Shift. We'll let's see. Let's add some more on that. Let's put it to 12. There we go. And let's put pull that out. Something like that. Let's go ahead to our perspective, grab our line, F4, uh, grab our line, F4, and hold down sh front view, hold down shift, we'll go up about 3 millimeters or so, and we'll just grab a, let's see, uh, what kind of curve, we'll just do a, a freeform curve and we'll snap it from here, we'll go to our front view and we'll just kinda draw something out there hit enter now we'll just look at that curve here real quick what okay one more time, what hit enter it's a nerves curve so everything will be smooth uh, let's go ahead and turn on our points and uh, let's uh, go ahead and do a s that uh, rail revolve real quick. And we'll select our curve, select this, and hit enter. Oh, that's right. Select our curve, hit this, go to bottom, go to top. So we have something like this. And then you can start, since record history is on, you can start uh, kind of just manipulating it around. Uh, let's turn that to a friendlier surface. Let's take all three of those and drop them down. But uh, yeah, there you go. There, there's uh, all. Its possibilities are endless. Uh, there's not much you can't do. Something like this, you can make all kinds of really cool designs. And then again, when you're done, you just uh, select your uh, select your s select your surface. Type in cap and you have a closed poly surface. Okay, well I hope that helps. It's a very cool tool. It, uh, you can make a lot of different kind of designs with it. And I hope it helps. If it does, please hit that subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching very much. Thanks for your support and good designing.